Good morning everybody, Charlie here with Red Summit RF and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to those of you who have been following along and uh, have been watching the portable Morse code paddle series and welcome to those of you who might be new. I hope you get something out of this and enjoy it. Today I will be reviewing the Chinese stainless steel branded uh, paddle. It really doesn't have a name and you kind of need to know the uh, keywords in order to look it up and to search for it. Uh, among those words are the, uh, the stainless steel uh, uh, telegraph key and uh, paddle with uh, magnet mounts. Those are a lot of the, the, the words that are in the key search to, to look one of these paddles up. There really isn't much information out there on these paddles, especially there isn't any information on the manufacturer. And so really you're stuck with what information is provided by the vendors. The vendors are AliExpress, eBay, and uh, Amazon. And so you're really not gonna get much uh, in, in the way of help. Uh, you might be able to get a return or a replacement, but that's gonna be about it. So make sure you accept that going in if you are going to buy one of these paddles. But on the other hand, they are uh, pretty dang good paddles and they're definitely worth your consideration. So let's get on over to the bench and take a look at them. Okay, so at the time of this recording, the cost of this paddle could be found for as little as $44, including shipping, all the way up to $65, including shipping. The cost varies depending on the vendor. I paid uh, $55 plus the $3 shipping for mine. And since it ships from China, you should expect a long wait of one to two months or more. Mine came with this uh, square, uh, I don't know, tube-like container, which I've chosen to use uh, this, uh, to continue to use it to, to store my my uh, paddle. It has this foam stuff in it, and it came with a, a couple of extra of these uh, contact pins. So there's no details about the paddle or instructions shipped with it, and there um, wasn't even an Allen wrench for adjusting the paddles that came with it, so uh, not a lot. The design uh, descriptions vary uh, a little depending on the vendor you uh, choose, and, and uh, most say it is made of stainless steel, and it has uh, magnetic returns inside. It has an adjustable paddle spacing that you can take care of right here. And it has these uh, uh, magnets for mounting. The weight of this paddle is 106 grams without the cable, compared to the uh, Pico Palm, which uh, is 16 grams without the paddle, or sorry, without the cable. So this paddle comes in quite heavy compared to others, and is also quite large compared to others. Uh, so it's you can see here to compare the size of the Pico Palm with this. It's uh, it's I mean it's still uh, relatively small, so it's not made entirely of uh, s of stainless steel. And uh, there are a couple of plastic hex standoffs here, one on each side, that uh, are not stainless steel. And also, uh, this this little back part right here, the uh, uh, this chip right here, that uh, it's a PCB board that they use, and, and uh, this is where you connect your uh, 3.5 millimeter jack and has a little switch here. But this is also uh, not uh, as sturdy as the stainless steel, obviously. I saw a comment on Twitter about somebody who received theirs, uh, you know, one of these, and uh, this back part right here had been uh, damaged and broke. They decided to keep the paddle and to uh, re try to repair it to put some other type of uh, connection here in the back, but. Uh, just just note that uh, it, while it is uh, stainless steel, there are a few areas where it uh, has some weak points in it and they're not uh, as sturdy. One of the features that I really like about this paddle is this switch right here. And uh, this switch is uh, to uh, change the orientation of the paddles, to, to change which side the dits and the daws come on. And I have a couple of cables that have reversed uh, uh, orientation so you know whenever I plug one in I'm not quite sure sometimes wh whether the dit or the doll is going to come out so it's really easy to just use whatever cable and then and then I use this switch to switch it to the to the proper side 
so you can't adjust the tension of this. Uh, I've, I've looked and there's really no way to do that. Uh, there, it, I think the tension is just basically played on with the, uh, there's two magnets inside here that uh, have a pol opposing polarization and they, they just kind of push off each other. So that uh, can't be adjusted. So unfortunately, but you can adjust the spacing. Uh, it, it, it is uh, shipped with the uh, spacing a little too far apart from my tastes. Uh, and so to make that adjustment, you have to loosen this bolt here. And so this screwdriver here is what I used for that. And I just, uh, you know, I just took it like that and loosened it. And then after I loosened it, then I grabbed a uh, Allen wrench. I think this is the size here, a 1 16th. And uh, once it's loose, then you just go ahead and, and you put the Allen wrench in here and you you, you, you tighten or loosen the, the, the uh, pin in there to how close you want it to this middle contact. And then uh, you take the screwdriver and you retighten this bolt right here. And this is, it's a, uh, it's a 7 32nd uh, wrench. So there you are. And then again, a 1 16th Allen wrench. Like many of the other portable paddles on the market, this paddle comes with very strong magnets and it allows you to attach a paddle to the metal surface of your radio for better stability or, or any piece of metal. And let me grab my FT817 here and show you. Uh, this this uh, actually is so strong that I can lift up the radio with it. Uh, like I, right now, I don't know if you can tell, but I am that the radio is hovering and I, I have a hold of just the paddle here. So, so it is, these paddles are, very strong with their with their uh, magnetism. The agility of these paddles is okay. They are a little clunky. I don't know if you can hear that, but uh, but when you when you really use them heavily, they're, they they clank, a little noisy, and I wouldn't describe them as smooth necessarily, but they're all right. Uh, they are no worse than some of the other paddles that I've reviewed. So uh, so right in there. So this set of paddles would be perfectly acceptable for a primary key if you are just starting out with portable radio. I had no problems with them in the, in all of my field tests, so, so pretty good. As with other paddles on the market, this one comes with a 3.5 millimeter jack right here that you can plug in your, uh, your cable to, but uh, it did not come with an accompanying cable in the, in the uh, shipment that I received. Uh, others, you know, others may send it, but the, but the vendor that I uh, ordered this from did not send a cable with it. I think uh, there will be a lot of variation on the purchase experience. I ordered mine uh, off of eBay. Most paddles there sell for about $55 plus uh, a few dollars for shipping. AliExpress is less expensive and Amazon is more expensive. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the grading done here then. So I'm gonna uh, put the grades right up here. So for this paddle, you, I'm going to give the cost a B. You are not getting a precision engineered paddle here, but you also aren't paying a lot of money for the paddle. So I think that it's a, it's a fair cost and uh, maybe a little, uh, little in, less expensive than, than a lot. So it, uh, you know, a B is pretty good. For the durability, I'm going to give it a B. So this paddle is made of solid, durable materials, but a few of the pieces I have uh, pointed out are suspect, like this, uh, this right here, this hex standoff, and also the PCB here in the back. And so, uh, you know, it might uh, be durable in a lot of ways, but uh, just be careful of those. Um, the weight, I'm going to give it a C. The paddle tops out heavier than any other paddle that I've reviewed thus far. Uh, it's it's not probably not the best fit for an ultra light backpacker because it's you know it's 106 grams, but but it shouldn't be an issue for most hams who are going portable hop, portable ops and, and like are doing summits on the air. Uh, the, the, the weight difference probably would, really wouldn't make much difference. So uh, agility, I'm going to give it a C. It might have, uh, I might have given it a B had it not been so clanky and in the, in the, with the field tests and stuff. It did perform consistent though, and it, and it had no issue sending throughout all of my field tests. And uh, even at really high speeds, it, uh, it did well. Customer service, I'm going to say a D. You are stuck with the shipping policies of your vendors, and uh, should something happen, a return or replacement within the vendor's policy is probably what you're going to be stuck with, and uh, so you aren't going to really get any service otherwise. On enclosure, I'm going to give it a fail. The design is not enclosed at all, and uh, you'd have to be careful not to get uh, a dirt to, uh, in, the, in the contacts here and into the mechanism. 
Mounting, I'm going to give it a C. It does come with a good mounting option with these uh, these magnets here, uh, but uh, there's nothing really special about it other than than those magnets. It's not spectacular, so uh, C, pretty average. For beauty, a C as well. It's designed for utility more than for beauty, but uh, it certainly isn't grotesque. It's not really ugly, but it's not the prettiest either. So man, it's just average. It's it's a pretty good one. So that wraps up my thoughts on this uh, Chinese stainless steel paddle. It's uh, it's decent. So let's go ahead and get it over to uh, to to the radio and uh, get a, give it a test run. So give me a minute to get set up on that. As you can see, I'm going to use the CW hotline here. I'm going to plug it in standalone and uh, use the built-in keyer with it. So I just have an Anker battery here. I'll plug that in. I'll grab these cables here for the paddle. All right, let me make sure this is set the right way. No, we got to switch the, there we go. Okay, so that is the Chinese stainless steel unbranded paddle. You can find them again on in eBay and on AliExpress and on Amazon. I feel like these are good paddles for somebody who uh, just wants to have a low-end paddle and is going to be okay with that, or somebody who's new to portable operations and wants to do some soda, for example, and uh, doesn't want to really invest a lot in a paddle right at the moment. If you're careful with the paddle, and you uh, protect it, you make sure you don't get dirt in the contacts and you uh, prevent uh, damage to the, uh, the, the hex standoffs and the PCB board. It should last you quite a while and perform well for you. Certainly for the price range that you're looking at, the $50 range, you're really not gonna be out a whole lot if, if something happens. But I think that these paddles are pretty durable and, and they're gonna last a while and for the $50, I think it's probably worth it. So I'm gonna say 73 to you guys then. Uh, that's about it. I appreciate you guys joining uh, me and, and uh, going over this review. I appreciate you visiting my channel. Please come on back and visit again. Remember, this is a series. I have probably five or six more paddles in the lineup, and I'm looking for more all the time. If you have a suggestion for a paddle that you might want me to review, make sure it's a paddle that's a portable paddle, then I'd consider it and maybe uh, go ahead and purchase it and add it to my collection. So thanks for joining, and I will see you on the next one. 73, everybody.